On this episode, I interview Valor FC goalkeeper Tyson Farago about his favorite signing so far, as well as who he thinks the best goalkeeper in the league is, all in this episode, so stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Curtis here, and I'm super excited to be here with Valor FC goalkeeper Tyson Farago. How are you doing, Tyson? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I know. I'm super excited to have you, especially... I'm actually based out of Winnipeg, so you're my first ever uh, Valor FC player to be on, on the show. Fantastic. It's an honor. I know. I'm, I'm super excited. So uh, just quickly, though, uh, how, was, how did your signing with Valor, how did it come about? Did, you, did Rob contact you or did you contact the club? Yeah, so Rob and I have been talking for a little while and, um, you know, it's something that I wanted to make happen throughout my career and, uh, you know, playing at home was always uh very appealing to me and you know we uh we've been talking about it for a couple of years and uh finally the the opportunity came about and um it was uh something i had to jump on and um we uh we made it happen as quick as we could okay Where, how long were you in like contract talks with it because i felt like I feel like you're probably like the first guy valor actually signed it was just announced in december because i because I, I remember Oh, you you came over before even summer 2018, I believe. You came back to Canada, right? Yeah, yeah, I came back from uh, from Ireland, and um, you know, we were we were in talks for for a little while. I, I knew it take a it took a lot a lot of time for the um the, the physical contracts to come out. So that was um, that was a bit of a delay there, and um, and then figuring out how to. Um, make both parties happy that was um, that took a little bit of time and you know at the end of the day we're we're all happy and um, I'm looking forward to stepping on that field so how do you how do you feel the roster so far is stacked up like what's what are you what are you excited about like you just seen we've only got a few signings so far announced for Valor FC how do you think the signings have gone so far well, you've you've got a lot of uh, young talent there, a lot of a lot of class. Um, you know, I play with Raphael Hinn, and um, you know, uh, doing a little research on on Skylar Thomas and and Jordan Morrell, and you know, we've we've already signed a lot of um, very very solid players, and you know, Stephen Hoyle, top goal scorer in 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 New Zealand right now, and right. you know, we, we've got a lot of um, quality players on our side, and. Uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of uh, more uh, quality to come within the next uh, next month, and you know we we're um, we're doing very well in the signing part of it. And you know, Rob is uh, we, we've put all our trust in Rob, and you know he's not he's not failing us, and um, and uh, we're we're looking forward to to the 2019 season. How do you feel about, uh, obviously, they just recently, about a week or two ago, signed another goalkeeper, Matthias Jensen's. How do you feel about that signing, too? Having to possibly maybe, I don't know, share the crease or even have a preseason type uh, training camp battle for that position? Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know much about him, um, but obviously, he comes from a, uh, uh, a well known country for their goalkeeping. And, um, you know, I know Pat, I know. Um, We've uh, they they've said that they've done a little research on him and uh, and I, I'm looking forward to having a good sparring partner throughout preseason and you know it um, uh, it can't be a negative thing you know uh, we can push each other to uh, to to reach our goals and that's the uh, that's the thing at the end of the road is as long as uh, we're doing well on the the score sheet everything's good. Have you guys, have all you, the Valor players so far already announced, have you guys kind of uh, communicated already since the signings or? Yeah, um, yeah, we've been talking. Um, you know, I've been talking to some of the guys, uh, talking to Steven and, um, uh, you know, Jordan and Skyler and, and you know, we've been, all been sort of mingling a little bit and um, uh, talking about training and uh, uh I think Jordan and Skyler are already in town, so uh, potentially hanging out and you know gaining a little bit of uh, team chemistry and getting a little uh, head up on the competition. What are you most excited about playing in Winnipeg in this season? For like you're actually playing professional soccer or football in your hometown of Winnipeg. What are you most excited to look forward to 
whether it be a Vesica field, uh, Red River Rising, what is it? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, first and foremost, my, my family and uh, friends are all going to be in the, the, the stadium. I've had a lot of people come up to me and say, man, in, in pregame, you better come say hi to me and stuff. So, and uh, a lot of people say, now we're going to have uh, signs and everything. <laughs> so that that's one thing I'm looking forward to is playing in front of my family and friends. And, um, you know, I, in the soccer community, I have a lot of friends and I'm definitely looking forward to being able to show what I can do um, to them uh, in, a, in Winnipeg. You know, I've done it in Edmonton for so long and, and now finally I get to showcase in Winnipeg. Uh, that must be like a fantastic feeling though, right? Just being the hometown boy, playing for your hometown team in a Division One level. I mean, that's probably a great, great feeling. How do you, how do you prepare though for the inaugural year? Only because... I only ask that question just because, you know, we. I feel like there's a lot of still uh, uncertainties about, like, you don't really know what the level, like, you can't really expect it, you know what I mean? How do you prep mm-hmm. for something? Because it is a Division One league, but the players that they've signed and all that, you know, a lot of people are like, okay, well, that's maybe not guys that usually are typically in Division One. How do you prep for an inaugural year like this where you just, there's so many unknowns? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the best thing you can do is, is prepare yourself physically and mentally for a tough season. And, um, I mean, there's going to be a lot of games, and you got to be physically fit and ready to go for – for you got to protect uh, – you have to um, get yourself ready for 80 games, you know. There could be 40, 50, 60, whatever it comes out. You have to be ready for your uh, the max amount and be as fit as you can and um, – mentally ready to go and and yeah that that's that's basically what i've been doing is is training pretty much every day and and getting myself set for a uh tough long season how do you how do you feel about the the canadian championship schedule obviously it came out in the format for this year's tournament came out valor gets a bye to round two how do you feel about that tournament setup yeah it's fantastic um you know the the canadian championships uh it's a great cup and now we've added seven new teams to the the format and i played in a couple games and it's a great atmosphere and and now you'll have more professional teams playing against wales you know it'd be great to great to get a uh um, an mls club and to to invest this group and you know show what we can do get the red river rising out there and and uh showing what they can do as well and you know it I, I hope we can grab a, a good uh, atmosphere and and you know uh, you know create a lot of buzz throughout the city and um, it's such a great tournament to to be a part of. So sure. I can expect I can expect Valor in the uh, Canadian Championship final, right? I a hey, bank on it, bank on it. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll look forward to that. Uh, so my, my next one here, so you can. You can say yourself, but I, I'm, I'm looking for maybe beside yourself for this next question. And I'm going to ask you here is, who do you think is so far is the best goalkeeper in the Canadian Premier League? <laughs> um, well, you got the... I, I've trained with uh, Marco Carducci at, uh, at uh, Calgary. Uh, mm-hmm. Excellent goalkeeper. Not sure what's going to happen with the Edmonton situation. Um I mean, you've got Mark Village that just came from uh, Cincinnati. Uh, but training with uh, with Marco, I, I'd have to say he's probably the best right now um, as far as far as I know from the signings and everything. But uh, I know Marco is a quality goalkeeper, and um, he definitely adds quality to the league. Where, where would you say you rank? <laughs> you're going to put me on the spot like that, eh? <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, you know, top half. How about that? Yeah. No, that's I, that's honestly where I where I would have put you too. I would have put you in the top top four probably. Mm. Yeah. So uh, for the next one here is now again you could say a valor player or you could do a valor player and league wide player. But who do you think or who is your favorite signing in the CPL so far? Favorite signing. Yeah. Um, favorite signing so far. So far. But that, that's been announced. Uh, it's been announced. I'm trying to divide that right now. Uh, favorite signing? It's a good question. Um, well, you got um, 
you got Kyle Becker, massive massive signing. You know, to bring a bring a big name like that back to back to Canada, it's fantastic. Um, you know, it, it only helps the league, right? Bigger right. signs, the the better the league is going to be, and um, you know, it, it's fantastic for the league. I think one one player that we sort of just um, overhaul and is um, locally. I think is a great signing is uh, Rafael Ovin. I think when you talk about character and attitude and, you know, uh, WSA Winnipeg has been the highest level in Winnipeg so far. And um, you, you take a player like that who has who's gone through all that system, bring him in. Um, it's, it's fantastic for the city for me as, as a Winnipeg as, as a whole. Um, that really, really adds to, for me, for me personally, adds to our Winnipeg um, uh, cohesion, you know. Right. Uh, um, but yeah, of course you got um, you got Kyle Becker and um, Haber, big signing. You know, the the bigger signings, the better, right? And the more, the bigger the, the league's going to be. Do you do you think that Valor? And I'm trying to think of the other clubs there, but for sure, Valor. Do you think? Do you feel like they might have a bit of a um, bit of a hill to climb right off the bat, just because they might not have as much chemistry together? Because you look at Pacific FC, a lot of them, you know, played together in the White Cap system. Uh, you look at I'm trying to think um, Forge FC, a lot of them played through the Sigma system. So you you would imagine there's chemistry there. There's even a spine uh, that they're building in Halifax right now of Trinidad players, right? So there's that chemistry. Do you feel that Valor might have a bit of an obstacle in that category, just because a lot of you guys maybe haven't played, at least recently, uh, together? Yeah, well, Winnipeg's always going to be... We're always on our own little island, really. Like, you, you, you look at Calgary and Edmonton, they've already had systems in place. You've got Edmonton that's played in the NESL, and all these contacts, the players that have played for FC Edmonton, and you've got Calgary that's been around the PDL level and has won the PDL level so you've got high quality players there and um, and even Vancouver you know you got a lot of players that have gone through the Vancouver Whitecaps program whereas you got Winnipeg who is sort of on an island that need to to reach out to a different sort of player and and bring them in and uh, and raise the level it's it, it's very it is it is a tough um, tough time signing players um but uh you know rob rob has a lot of connections and and you know like i said we we all trust rob and he, he's done very well so far and um expect a lot of signings to come in the future i think we're gonna have a, a very good team and personally i think we're gonna have um a very very competitive team that'll that'll compete for that cup whatever the cup is named <laughs> yeah um yeah. uh, what what would you name that cup quickly here? Oh, I mean, all the good names are already taken. You got the Voyager Cup. Yeah. <laughs> would you, you name the Canadian it? Cup? Would you, would you name it off a sponsor? Like, you know how sometimes there's tournaments where it's like the Scotia Bank Cup, you know what I mean? The Barclays Championship, Premier right, League right. or whatever. Um, no, I think I would, I would uh, keep it strictly Canadian. I mean, you got... <sighs> I mean, you got the Canadian Cup and everything. You can't call it the Grey Cup or the Super Bowl or anything like that. Um, How about Tim Hortons? You know, I haven't, I haven't really brainstormed about any type of names or anything yet. But when I, when I do, uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. All right. And uh, quickly here, which, uh, which player are you looking forward to or looking forward to the least to facing? Like, which striker, obviously not on Valor, um, mm. you, you like, I do not, I'm not looking forward to that date. I mean, he might, uh, I don't want to, you know, feed his ego or anything, but uh, uh, definitely playing with Tommy Amiobi in the in the past, you know, you know what he's he's like, and he's that tall striker that towers over everyone, and uh, he's a great finisher. You know, Tommy Amiobi for sure is, is one of those players that I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to keep an eye on on the pitch for, for sure. All right, and before I let you go here, I got I do have a uh, question here from a viewer, actually. Uh, Graham asks, uh, if you weren't a goalkeeper, what other position would you play in soccer? Okay, uh, 
Well, I don't like to brag or anything, but uh, I've been known to put a couple of balls in the net. So I probably, uh, you know, number nine striker compared to me to uh, Ibrahimovic, you know. <laughs> All right. Score the beautiful goals. Yeah, definitely. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good uh, answer for sure. Well, Tyson, I want to thank you so much uh, for coming on the show today. I'm uh, super, uh, super excited to get you on again. You're, you're the local boy here. So that's great, and I, thanks for coming on. Awesome. Thanks for having me, John. Well, I hope you enjoyed my interview here with Tyson Farrago. And let me know in the comment section below. Do you think he's the best goalkeeper in the league? Do you think Mark Carducci is the best goalkeeper in the league? Let me know who you think is the best goalkeeper in the CPL right now down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here or you, you know, want to see more content just like this, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. And of course, you can also watch my content over at northernstarting11.com. I'll have a link for that in the description below. And until next time, thank you for watching.